cradling is the most important part of lacrosse. So focus up and let's get into it. Today is a very special episode. For that, we have to put the Crocs in sports mode. The Crocs are in sports mode. We're going to start cradling. Cradling is the most basic skill you have to have in order to play lacrosse. So how do you cradle? Let me show you. Step number one, make sure you're not too tense and you're nice and loose, okay? You don't want to be cradling like this. Cause that wears your arm out and makes you super tired and it's just not good form. You want to have your hand loose on the stick, okay? See that room right there? Loose. So what you're running to do, you're curling your bicep and forearm and as you're doing that, you're also bending your wrist. Same thing with the left hand. If you're lefty, then you're also bending at the wrist and the elbow. It doesn't change. Once you have your basic cradling down, you can spin it and that's where you kind of toss up your hand and the stick and spin it like that. Make sure to practice this all the time. This helps out a lot whenever you're at home or if you're starting lacrosse. Even if you're not starting lacrosse, you can work on the other hand. So just focus on bending that wrist and that elbow. Make sure that you're balancing your arms out so then when you're in a drill, you can switch and start cradling with the other hand. That's where you flip it back like a normal cradle, like the pop of spin that I just showed you. Instead of holding it tight like that, you pop it up and then you pop it forward. And when you pop it forward, I usually use this backhand to twist the shaft. So you pop it forward like that. And you also use this hand to kind of grab onto the shaft and spin it. Back, forward, back, forward. Same thing with the left arm. Make sure that you're balancing your arms out. For now, just work on bending your elbow and your wrist right there. Same thing with the right side. Okay, if you're going to dodge a player again, like I just said, or you can stick it out here, or another thing you can do is do the one-handed. One-handed right there, see that? Watch how my hand's opening up. You can bend your forearm to get that extra, like, control. But I'm, yeah, I'm usually going up with bending my arm, my shoulder up here, and my wrist, okay? And make sure your hand's always loose on the shaft. So create it like this. Also work on your left hand. Off-season work is the most important. We just ended lacrosse about a month ago, and as you can see, I'm still cradling, still shooting, still working on my face-offs. Make sure you're doing the same, and I'll catch you next Friday. Peace.